Good morning to you. It's uh, an overcast and slightly drizzly day outside. I think the weather forecast is fairly grim for today, so uh, perhaps a day to stay hunkered down at home doing lists maybe for Christmas or whatever you like to do at home. So I wish you all a very good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer. It's Thursday the 29th of October. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 143 and our reading is from 1 Timothy chapter 4. Let us still our hearts and minds before God and open our hearts to his love and mercy. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications in your faithfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I think about all your deeds. I meditate on the, hands, on the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Selah. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your steadfast love in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Save me, O Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on a level path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your steadfast love, cut off my enemies and destroy all my adversaries, for I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So the New Testament reading for today is from 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons, through the hypocrisy of liars, whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods, which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be good servants of Christ, nourished on the words of faith and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way holding promise both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance, 
For to this end we toil and struggle, because we have our hopes set on the living God, who is the saviour of all people, especially of those who believe. These are the things you must insist on and teach. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you through prophecy, with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Put these things into practice, devote yourself to them, so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this you will save both yourself and your hearers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. So as usual, if you have those you want prayer for or situations, do pop them in the comments box and uh, I'll read them out. So let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we love you with all our hearts and all our minds. <clears throat> Excuse me. We stretch out our arms to you. In you alone we place our trust. <clears throat> May your church be renewed every morning with vision and courage to reach out to those who sit in darkness and despair, that they may know the comfort of your everlasting presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of grace, we give you thanks for all those who teach, mentor and disciple us carefully and faithfully, that we in our turn may accompany and encourage others in their walk of faith. We thank you for the scholars and great thinkers whom you have inspired, who bring us fresh insights to consider as we study your scriptures. Open our minds that we may explore the new and endless possibilities you have planned for us, that we may reach out to others with the knowledge of your truth and love. Bless all those who have encouraged us and shaped our faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Caring God. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Caring God, we thank you for the communities and areas in which we live. Help us to grow where you've planted us. As many areas find themselves in lockdown once again, strengthen all that is good within our communities. May friendships grow and be blessed as people watch out for one another and offer support to those in need. <clears throat> Bring to our minds those we most need to care for, that they may not be forgotten or overlooked. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <clears throat> Lord, our God, you see our every struggle. You know our every concern. We pray particularly for those who are unable to deal with the knocks and wounds and challenges of life. Those who are drowning in the depths of addiction, 
visible or invisible. In these days of separation, working from home and isolation, protect those who are alone, those who've disappeared from sight and have no one to be with, where depression can imprison their hearts, minds and lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we lift to you all the incredible doctors and nurses across the world and all involved in caring for the sick and the dying. For those dedicated to saving lives on the front line in hospitals, as well as laboratories. For the air ambulance, emergency first responders and ambulance crews. We pray for those who transport organs and life-saving blood. We thank you, Lord, that fewer COVID sufferers are dying and ask your blessing on those caring for patients in specialist wards and all those facing the challenges of caring for loved ones at home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So, Father, we hold before you all who are sick in body, mind or spirit. We remember those who've had treatments or procedures delayed or cancelled, particularly those with a severely compromised immune system who are so vulnerable. And we pray for the terminally ill and dying, that their time left in this life may be filled with your peace. Today we pray especially for those known to us and for circumstances that are on our hearts. So we pray for Mary, Graham, Ella and Alex, Meg and Raphael, Sue, Andrew, Kate, Archie, Maya, Martha. Today we give thanks for the safe delivery of a son for Sarah and Gareth, a brother for Izzy, and pray your blessing be upon them all. We pray for Enid, Bob, Mark, Janet, Martin. We pray special prayers for baby Alex in the critical condition again. And we pray for Robbie Brown, Bowen, sorry, Robbie, Bo Robbie Bowen and his family. We pray healing for Kathleen, Kate, Natalie, Vic, Sue, Sam. We pray also for Ben and for Alex. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So God of love, we pray for all who've recently died and for all those left without their loved ones, plunged into the darkness of shock and grief. We ask they will know your presence, light and hope. Grant them the strength and all they need for each new day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Our collect for today. O oh God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen the lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god and thank you all for joining me this morning uh, it's always great to pray together isn't it we are very blessed to have this praying community and uh, i hope you have a very wonderful day and john will be with you tomorrow and i think reverend rich is back on saturday so god bless and i'll see you soon <laughs>